Okay, I don't have much time. This is a Telecaster I picked up about a year ago in a pawn shop in Nevada or Utah. I don't remember. And you can see it's a it's one of those upper you know level squires. It says Squire Fender Telecaster. It's the Bullet series because it's got two humbuckers. So, and I like this because it had, you know, all right, a friggin' toggle switch. Almost cool. So this had a black pick guard and uh, a different bridge. I'm thinking, well, they didn't have any amps to play it through. So I had an amp. I bought it. It was like 79 bucks. Uh, but I want you to look at everything. That's a DiMarzio PAF. That's a DiMarzio uh, Super Distortion or DP100, whatever the hell you want to call it. And a Kaler. Uh, older Kaler system. I have a bunch of them. And the pots had to both be put uh, 500k because one was like 250 and one was like 3 something. I've never even heard of a 300. But it was just a joke. And it had come from the factory this way. The guy hadn't really done anything to it. But look at it now. Look at the uh, toggle switch. It says rock and metal. So I had this thing completely redone. I uh, had him cut this out for me and make it so, you know. Because this uh, super distortion is mounted to the body. So that's like a Van Halen setup. That's what I wanted. So it's just this. This is dead. So I said, forget it. I don't want to wire it up. I'll take this out at some point if I need it, but I don't. So don't hook it up. So I just got a volume, uh, the super distortion, the Kaler was put in. You got the bar, you put on the, uh, the Kaler locking nut behind the nut. And it looks like somebody tried to put in a first fret. Now I know that's big in the country thing, so who knows what the idiot that had this before me did, but now it's a killer shredded caster. It's got a, see as you can tell, the strings went through the body. It sounded like hell when I got it home. And I have videos, I know I got videos, that I did, uh, right when I got it, it sounded thin and horrible. And I'm like, whatever, so I'm gonna get it redone. So I had this, I've had this, uh, this Kaler system, and it was black. I'm like, perfect. All I had to do was dig up one of these. I had that laying around. Just all this stuff. I just put it in a case, I bought a case, just kept putting the pieces into it, and then gave it to my tech, Rich. Rich. And, you know, he's told you he's done a lot of work. He's done worked on Randy Rose's guitars when he was a uh, local in Quiet Riot. Uh, he's, he works on everybody. Joe Bonamasha. He's worked on Steve Vai's guitars. He's, anybody that lives around here, pretty much, he's, he's worked on their guitars. So, I know he can do anything. So I just gave him the pieces, and he was dead set to get everything working. I said, don't, stop, 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 two weeks. And, you know, he was charging me, you know, time. I'm like, stop, this should be an easy thing. Plug in one volume knob, whichever one it is. This one, I think, yeah. One volume knob, this pickup only working. I don't care about this, it's all for looks. And then cut that however it needs to be and make this a kill switch. Which it is now. So, <laughs> he just got, I understand he, he's got problems, you know, his mom's in the hospital and, he, and he's tripping out. I'm like, dude, just mellow out, rip everything out of that thing, make it, as, make it simple, in, volume, pick up, kill switch, the end, set it up.
make it nice and I'm ready or you're ready and then give it to me I got charged a little more than I was expecting because I bought this like I said for under a hundred bucks I already had this I got this for 50 bucks because the wires are only that long off eBay I had this PAF and I just ordered this stuff just to you know bling it out and uh, like I said it's it's a friggin I like the squires because their necks are are thinner faster than the big old clunky strat strat well strat or friggin telecast to me the fender telecaster is the ugliest stupidest boringest guitar ever made besides PRS and all of because look at it's just a hunk of wood that they kind of shaped they cut this out so you can get up them high notes this is a country guitar this is made for strictly business and the big old baseball bat necks they put on it don't like that's why I like Epiphones over Gibsons. This is why I like Squires. But these you actually really gotta fix up. So I ended up dumping 300 bucks into this. So 79 plus 300 plus what I paid for the pickup. That's a lot. But And I haven't even played it. I just plugged it in to make sure it worked. <laughs> That's it, so let's see how this plays. I have no idea, and I'm running out of time. So let's check it out together. <laughs> oh, I did tune it down. He had it tuned standard. I tried to drop it, so it's probably going to go out of tune a few times. But there we go. Let's check it out.
I'm not really comfortable with this setup. 
I'm used to a bar being way up here on a Kaler. Go look at He's a little tuning up for me so I get used to it, but the next school, this is cool. That that doesn't work. Metal! Metal mother! Got it? Get it? Good. Where should I put these? I know I used to use them on a girlfriend of mine. Alright, later! The Shredder Caster.